UPDA stands for Urban Planning and Development Authority and it comes under MMUP, Ministry of Municipality and Urban Planning, currently named as MME, Ministry of Municipality and Environment. According to new Qatar standards from November 2019, UPDA, MMUP engineering license has been connected with visa endorsements or re-establishments to live in Qatar. Qatar engineers are struggling to renew and transfer their visa without UPDA license. Some engineers are losing their good job opportunities and remuneration. So now it's mandatory for all Qatar engineers that they must finish their UPDA. MMUP registration in Engineering Council as soon as possible and apply committed endeavors in accomplishing the UPDA Qatar engineer license at the earliest, or else they might miss out some wonderful job opportunities of Qatar. This video is all about how to register UPDA MMUP for engineers here in Qatar. Without any ado, let's start the video. Open any web browser and search for mme.gov.qa or search for MME registration. Then open first website, that is, Wizaratul Baladiyati. Ministry of Municipality website will open, basically the website will be in Arabic language. To change the language click on language change button, located at top left corner. And then the website interface will be changed to English language. Scroll down, and select Engineers, and Engineering Committee. For the new registration. User has to select a registration and follow up of application. Please log in first to use this service. To log in into the website, click on login button located at top left corner. Once user clicks on login, it will redirect to the national authentication system. If you want to know what is national authentication system, and how we can register in the National Authentication System. Please check out my previous video, the link of the video given in the description. Log in into the website by entering user credentials. Once users log in, it will redirect back to the Ministry of Municipality website. Once again change the language. Scroll down, then click on Engineers, and Engineering Committee. And then click on Registration and Follow of Applications. Scroll down, and click on Admission Committee Engineers Service. Here users can submit all requests concerning his, or, her engineer ID of the Committee for Engineers. To accept the record as requested registration, and renewal, and amendment through the site, and follow up to both of them. To apply, click on Apply. Scroll down and click on Enrollment Engineer. Welcome to the Engineers and Consulting Offices Accrediting Committee. In this page you can request for register, at Engineer Register of the Engineers and Consulting Offices Accrediting Committee. Please make sure to attach all your experience documents at the time of application. Any additional request to update the engineer experience will not be accepted once the application request is completed. You can always refer to the first page to read the instructions and the required steps to complete the request to be accepted by the committee. In this page, you will complete the request data and your contact data. In this page, you will complete the request data and your qualification certificates. In this page, you will complete the request data and your training courses data. In this page, you will complete the request data and your experience certificates. In this step, you will upload all of the attachments which are required to accept the request. Finally you will send the request for registration, and you have to print the form which includes the reference number that allow you to follow up the request. Note, regarding the technical capacity exam. Exam contains 25 questions classified as follows, 5 questions about national standards, 5 questions general, 15 questions in the engineer specialization. Read the instructions carefully and then click on Next. Please read the committee's requirements for accreditation of engineers' certificates prior to moving on to the next step. To certify the engineers' experience certificates by the committee, the following conditions shall be met in addition to the conditions mentioned below, inside or outside the state of Qatar. 
The experience should be after the graduation date. Experience in the same field of specialization. The name and address of the company and the means of communication, telephone number, fax, email box, and email should be mentioned in the certificate. To mention the certificate job title. If experience certificates issued outside the state of Qatar, the original certificate, not translation, shall be certified by the Qatari Foreign Ministry in Qatar, to be signed, with the name of the witness, and stamped with the company's seal, and certified by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Qatar. If certificates of experience issued by the Arab Republic of Egypt, shall be attached to the insurance extractor, and the term of the insurance extractor shall be identical to the period specified in the certificate of experience in addition to the name of the establishment. If certificates of experience issued by the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan shall be accompanied by a statement of insurance data issued by the General Organization for Jordanian Social Solidarity, knowing that the benefit from the Jordanian Engineers Association is not acceptable. If certificates of experience issued by the GCC countries must be accompanied by photographs of the engineer's residence indicating the name of the sponsor throughout the period of work with the attached certificate. If the engineer has experience in an international company, having more than one branch, he must attach a certificate from each branch of the company, bearing the name and signature of the witness, and the company's seal and certified by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Qatar. If certificates of experience issued within the state of Qatar, it shall have the name and signature of the witness authorized to sign by the competent authorities and stamped with the company's seal. The duration of the engineer's work in consulting companies shall not be calculated after January 6, 2011. The duration of the engineer's work in the contracting companies shall not be calculated after January 1, 2014. By moving to the next step, you agree and be bound by the terms and conditions. Read the instructions carefully, and then click on Next. Here fill the complete information such as Date of birth of the applicant Then enter QID expiry date Then enter company establishment card number Then enter company P.O. box number Then enter company fax number. Then enter applicant's mobile number. Then select the nationality of the applicant from drop-up list. Then enter current employer or company name. Then enter applicant email address. Then enter company telephone number. Then select your engineering specification from the list. Now scroll down and make the attachments. Please attach the candidate's passport size photo by clicking on Choose File button. Once user click Choose File button, a wizard will open, select the image file. Make sure the file should be in JPG format. To upload the file, click on Attach button. Then attach scan QID copy of the applicant. With similar way. Make sure the scan QID copy should be in PNG format. Then attach the good conduct certificate from Ministry of Municipality. However if you don't know how to take the Good Conduct Certificate, please watch my previous video for How to Get Good Conduct Certificate Online. The link of the video is given in the description. Or you can watch the video right now by clicking on I button from your screen. Once all the documents uploaded, user can preview the document by clicking on View button. To confirm please preview all the documents, one by one clicking on the View button. Once all the documents attached, to continue click on Next.
Here we are getting an error that the establishment number for the company, which we entered is invalid because we have used dash symbol between the number. Let me enter the company establishment number without using any dash symbols. Then click on next. Here user have to attach the bachelor's certificate by clicking on add button. Here the user has to fill in the qualification details, such as the country where the applicant has completed his graduation. Then select the university, from where the user has taken the bachelor's degrees. Then select specification. Then again select the specification. Then select qualification. At last upload the bachelor's degree certificate by clicking on choose file button. Make sure the certificate should be in PDF format. Then click on the save button. Once everything is perfectly done, user will see the list of the uploaded document. Next upload all the documents such as mask sheet and bona fide certificate in the similar way. Once all the certificates uploaded, click on next. Next, the user has to add the courses if any by clicking on add button. Here fill in the details of the course and upload the related documents. As of now, I don't have any courses to add. Let me skip the step and click on Next. Next user has to add the experience if any. By click on Add button. As of now, I don't have any experience to add. Let me skip the step and click on Next. Here applicant can verify all the attached documents. It will not be accepted your request if the transcript is not attached to the request within the attachments. Here the user has to attach the other documents, such as Applicant scanned passports copy Then cut our police clearance certificate The applicant updated resume, or CV Once all the documents uploaded, click on Next to continue The understanding that the data contained above and attached documents are true and tab of fact, also approval of the full science the due diligence provisions of law number 19 of 2005 regulating the practice of engineering professions and its implementations. Acknowledged not to add any documents school qualifications, certificates of experience, training courses etc. after the delivery of the request of the commission, or when the interview. Read the above instructions carefully. And click on approve including. Then click on Next to continue. Thank you, your application is successful. The application number is 100,681. Print the from and attach it in the file when submitting the registrations, file in the committee. A file including all of the original documents, and the printed form must be submitted to the committee, after receiving a notice from the committee, once the application is submitted. Take the print of the application form by clicking on the print. Once user clicks on print, user will receive two form. One which is on my screen where you will have all the details of candidate. On this form applicant has to attach a passport size photo after taking print out. In this form you will have two pages take the print for both pages. Then you will have other form which is on my screen now. Here the user has his qualification details, training courses details, and work experiences details which we have given while the submission of the request. Applicants have to take a printout of this form as well. After submission of the request, user will receive a text message on his mobile number from Baladia. As you can see on my screen right now. The message says, Registration request so and so number has been approved. Please submit the original documents at the committee headquarters. Alhandasa Street, Doha Municipality Building B. On the date so and so, during the morning period, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Once the applicant receives the text message from Baladia, the applicant has to submit all the original documents which we have uploaded. This is to inform you that the text message might be received within one week, or it might take a bit more longer time. 
If you have not received any messages from Baladia, we can track our application. To know how to track the application please check out my next video. The link of the video given in the description, or else you can watch the video from the card, by pressing on I button. Let's get back to this video. Once the applicant submitted the original documents, at headquarters, it will go to verification. Then applicant will receive a text message from the Baladia, for exam. As you can see on my screen right now, the engineering exam is scheduled on so and so date, and time which is located in the area of Bendaram Al Handasa Street, Doha Municipality Building B, 3rd floor. Formal uniform is mandatory. Charge of 300 Qatari reals will be debited from your credit card for registration certificate. The mentioned fee will be applicable only for the candidate who clear their exam successfully. In the next video, we will learn what is the process for the candidates who's failed to clear the exam in the first attempt, and how we can apply for a second attempt. Hope you enjoy the video, and learn something new for the UPDA exam. If you have any questions related to this video, you can ask in the comments section. If you feel that the video is informative, and helpful for the candidate who's trying to apply for the UPDA exam, here in Qatar, please share this video with them. And also share with your friends and family members. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you guys soon in the next video.